Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Stan, back with another video. Just got out of the gym, so if I look out of it or just look crazy, please excuse me. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video. Uh, this is a video that I don't see much anywhere, or just an explanation of just how to do it at all. So basically, if you own a Camaro like mine, um, fifth gen, I believe this works on the fifth gens, maybe, maybe not, but you can try it out. But if you own a C7 Corvette, C6 Corvette, this works too. Uh, CTSV, um, I believe the CTSV2, this works too. But basically, any GM product that has the factory uh, performance data recorder or PDR, this should work for your vehicle. Basically, what I'm going to do is break down how to get, how to export your videos to your phone, to your computer, to one, create a video that has all the data that you want but to provide a way for you to extract the audio because somehow the way GM has the uh, the the file set up there's a certain steps you have to do to extract the video especially if you have Mac this is the biggest thing I believe is if you have Mac it doesn't work quite right now I've seen where some windows uh, depending on which windows you have it'll export the video automatically but then I believe if even if you have Windows and it exports the audio, this is a key thing. Like I said, the audio if it exports the audio, but then let's say you have an iPhone, it might not work on the iPhone. I don't have Windows, so I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. But basically, I found this explanation on the Camaro 6 forum. It came from the Corvette forums. A guy posted it over to the Camaro 6 forum. I tried it out, tested it, and it actually worked. I was surprised. It actually worked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set up your PDR in the car because I've made this mistake before of not even having the audio on in the car and then when you try to go put on your computer or export it to your computer to get the audio, there's no audio to start with. So that's gonna be the first step. And then like I said, uh, we'll jump over after a, a few, quick drive, we'll jump over to my MacBook and I'll show you how to do it and the, just the uh, basic printout style instructions of how to do it too. Let's go ahead and jump onto the PDR. All right, so this is your PDR menu. Um, if you have a Corvette, I believe it looks pretty much the same as C7. But anyway, this is your PDR menu. Uh, if it doesn't look similar, I'm pretty sure the steps to get there are pretty much the same. But anyway, like I said, I made this rookie mistake, but you wanna go to settings and you wanna have record audio with the check mark. Um, I had it one time, I had this cool idea, I was going to do this nice little run and not and and upload it to Instagram with the PDR. Didn't have record audio selected and it didn't have audio so it was pretty much pointless. Like I said, you want to have record audio selected and we're just going to make sure that it works. Uh, actually, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to go to recorded sessions. Uh, I believe this is my friend racing a GT350R. As you can hear, the audio in the car, uh, supercharged, Chevrolet SS. Uh, you can hear my music playing. We'll go to a different one or not. All right, uh, let's see if we can find one. Up. Alright, GT350R, basically you can hear the audio, that's all I want you to do is be able to hear the audio actually running. Um, this was the last time I used a PDR with the recorder audio check, so yes, the recorder audio works. So, we'll exit out of this. Alright, nope. All right, so basically you can choose your overlay, whatever you want to do, none of that matters. But we're going to record, start recording, and then it should record. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but the uh, actual microphone or whatever you want to call it, the, the device that picks up the audio for the PDR is the same speaker that you use when you're making telephone calls, when you're talking to the car. So the audio from it isn't like straight exhaust or straight motor if you have a ZL1 I'm pretty sure you can hear the supercharger whine in it uh, with my Corsa system you can definitely hear the exhaust 
Uh, when you're making hard runs, you can hear the car. Uh, you can hear it pretty good. Like I said, man, if you want to have a good PDR video, turn your music off. Like how you've heard mine just a few seconds ago with the music on or whatever. Um, like I said, if you want to hear the hear the car and what's going on, you want to. Uh, it went away. Car just turned off. But if you want to hear the car and what's going on, you want to have the uh, your music down. If you have a passenger, I mean, you can tell them to be quiet. You can tell them to shut up. Whatever you want to do. But um, we will get the car, the the PDR back up. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and have a. We'll go ahead and have a. We're, I'm gonna actually. We're gonna ride around, and we're gonna check out the uh, PDR. Uh, I have my GoPro going, so we'll have a GoPro. So you can actually see that I'm recording current, uh, I guess, clips. And then we'll run the PDR. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. This is the actual uh, post I found on the Camaro 6 forums that will actually allow you to complete the process. So um, basically I just wanted to talk and actually show you what I found. And what you're going to be downloading is what's called the VLC. Uh, the VLC is basically uh, some type of software that converts um, any media to a different setting. So from MP3 to MP4. Uh, type of file to JPEG to PNG whatever you want to convert it converts so like I said you're gonna have to uh, download that software it's um you can google it uh, that's what I did google VLC download and follow these instructions now as long as you download it the rest of this video which I'm about to show you is a step-by-step -step way of how they are explaining it on this uh, picture it actually works we're just gonna jump into it so I can show you visually visually show you how it's done all right so before we get into anything about actually making a sound this is just the uh, PDR just straight up uh, took it straight off the memory cards on my computer press play you can see my rpms jump there's no sound don't hear the road noise no car no exhaust nothing There you go, nothing. You don't hear anything. RPM's going up, no sound. Um, uh, just so you know, there's no funny business. I'll turn my volume all the way up. Like I said, there's no sound when you just try to use it directly from straight off the memory card. So pause this. We'll get rid of this. Don't want to do any of that. All right, so when you get the VLC, the, download the actual app. This is what you're looking for show up as a caution cone it might show up somewhere over here down here in the bottom however you have your computer set up i know everybody's different it'll say vlc caution cone yada yada the whole nine yards what you do open media browse you're gonna want to go to your memory card pick your mp4 file the png file is just a picture of a screenshot of whatever it took but you're going to pick your mp4 file, open, and then I'm just going to double check the instructions just the same way you should be. Um, and then we're just going to open. Now we have sound. Hopefully you can hear that, but we do have sound now. So we're gonna pause this. Oh. All right. All right, so 
Let me see if I can actually give you a step-by-step -step way to do it, because I believe since I already have my computer set up, that's kind of going to cheat you a little bit. All right, after refreshing my memory um, I, and reading the instructions, I made sure I was doing the right thing before I explained it to you guys. But in your top left corner, you're going to click File. You might not be able to see me click File, but you will be able to see me scroll down to Convert and Stream. You want to select Convert and Stream. And once this box pops up, you press Open Media. Once you do that, you just go to wherever your memory card's name is. Whatever your file is, you can check it by the date. Whatever you want to do to check it, um, you'll press Open. Like the instructions say, you want to have it in this video H.264 plus MP3 parentheses MP4. Once you have that selected, customize. And you just want to go step by step, MP4 selected. Then, if you can see this, I'm checking this box, keep original video track. Have that checked. Keep original audio track. Have that checked. Press apply. We're going to save that file. Um, I ha uh, have my, all my PDR videos set up on my external hard drive in the PDR file. You can do it however you want to. We'll, we'll name it uh, PDR for you, for YouTube. Press save. And then you'll click save down here at the bottom. It's gonna want to play. Well, this is it processing the video, so we'll just go ahead and let it finish processing. Should be processed. Now let's check it out. Let's go to files, PDR. And now you'll see it down there. PDR U video with the sound. Let me get my mic a little bit closer. Unfortunately, it was a rainy day. I'll just go ahead and upload this video at this point. But so, as you can see, um, the video should be rolling right now um, with the sound. And uh, this is just to show this video does correspond with the GoPro footage that I uploaded earlier in the video. But um, unfortunately, it was raining, so I couldn't really get on the car too much. Uh, stuck in traffic as well. I picked absolutely the worst day. But uh, I got on it a little bit. You'll be able to hear the car uh, as I was going around a corner or two. But uh, I also upload some uh, previous PDR videos that I have. Of, like I said, me and my friend and me doing some different things just in the car. And I'll just use those to show that you can get the sound out of your PDR of your vehicle. This is the whole point of the video. Just to show how you can do it. Um, if you found this informational, if you liked it, uh, if you have any opinions about it or an easier way to do it, drop that in the comments as well. Um, like I said, uh, after I go around this curve, you'll hear me uh, get on the car a little bit. But like I said, uh, this is Stan. If, if you liked it, uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. I just passed 400 uh, subscribers. I know that's not a lot, but the milestone I was looking forward to pass and uh, surpass and move on. But like I said, subscribe and give me a thumbs up.